Hey, welcome everyone. This is Wynn Davies with W.E. Davies and Sons Remodeling in our informative series uh, where we dig deeper into some of those projects around your house and what to think about uh, for each one of those projects before you pull the trigger. Hey, quickly, uh, we just want to hope everyone is finding new and interesting ways to cope with their ever-changing times and how we view the normal today as well as uh, we hope they have a little more patience with everyone and each other as we find that we're just trying to get through this different time. So be patient. So thanks for that. Hey, this week, uh, I thought I'd stay focused on the exterior of our house and more specifically the front door systems. Well, you ask, well, it's just a door, right? Well, some will argue or debate this is a statement uh, of you and your home and uh, it's curb appeal. Uh, it's interesting uh, that when we drive by somebody's home and they have one of those funky colors out there, everyone will literally have a instant opinion, good or bad about that. So keep in mind, you know, the front door is not just a door, all right? So uh, cost of these door systems can vary, probably one of the biggest uh, Chain, um, ranges, I would say, in products, just based on a lot of different things for that door system itself. So one of them is the, the glass itself. Is it just straight clear glass, or is it what we call art glass with uh, leaded uh, glass decorative panels inside of that door system, as well as does it have side lights to that door? Uh, that will definitely add some cost to that door system itself. So uh, it's not just you know, a door. So keep that as, we call it a door system because there's different components to the door itself. Uh, so parts or types of doors that are out there which will directly affect the cost. Well, you know, the last 100 years we've had the old standby wood door, which we've all seen and uh, sometimes admire when they're in good shape. And when they're not in good shape, we don't admire them, right? We, we know that they're leaky, drafty, uh, we're losing energy efficiency. Uh, so it's the old wood door, that's the first one. Then we have what we are most, uh, I would say most of us have in our houses today are the steel door and a wood frame. That's the most common in most houses today. And then there's a bit of a newer product in the market today, which is the door skin or itself, it's a fiberglass skin. And these are all insulated interiors of these doors. So they're, they're really highly efficient, energy efficient. Um, they're built uh, better than we could ever think. So that fiberglass skin door has really become a, a new player on the market. Um, we really promote that for a couple of reasons. One is that um, it holds paint better uh, so you can get uh, these doors in a variety of different textures, not just smooth, but actually like a wood grain texture impregnated right into that fiberglass. So it's pretty cool. So it can really uh, define the style uh, of your home of what you want in that front entry door system itself. So all the things like uh, why fiberglass? Well, it doesn't dent. Uh, that is one of the biggest uh, attributes I think has come to the forefront is that we all have doors that have, you know, uh, let's say uh, if you've had kids around the house, uh, the tennis ball, maybe not so much, but uh, baseball, golf ball, um, other hockey, hockey pucks, um, I can attest to that. Um, also scratching. Um, it's, uh, the, for some reason, the fiberglass doors tend to not to scratch as easily as the steel doors. So I'm not, I'm not giving steel doors a bad rap. I'm just giving you some of the, the pluses and minuses of each. So you can keep that in mind. The fiberglass doors are a little bit more in cost than the steel just because of that fact, okay? I'm um, also in cost for these door systems um, is the exterior of the door system. So what do I mean by that? Um, it's the frame. So nine out of 10 times the exterior door frame is a wood frame, right? And then it'll have to be painted of some color after the fact. Well, uh, not so much today in the last 10 years or so. 
we can get those door systems with a aluminum frame exterior so they are zero maintenance forever. Uh, and don't worry about that so much. Uh, I'm worrying about the color. They have a multitude of colors that will always fit your exterior trim package of your house. So we never worry about uh, will that uh, color match our houses, okay? Um, so that's one thing you want to think about uh, with um, what's, on the, what's on the exterior of my house and why is the cost differences? These are all things that add up to a plus or minus in why a door system costs less or more. Um, and on a product like this or a door system, it truly is about the product itself in cost. Uh, it doesn't cost us any uh, less or more time to install these in most cases. Uh, so it's all driven by the product itself, okay? Um, and one, to th one thing to think about, when we order these door systems for our clients, these really are custom made for you, if you wanna think of it that way. Um, you, get to, you get to choose every single component of the door for your home. And uh, these come pre-finished from the factory. So once you've made all your, your decisions on the door itself, the glass, uh, the interior paint color, the exterior paint color, these all come completely 100% ready to install when they, when they come to us. So which really helps lessen that, that complete finish time meaning it's le actually less for you, the customer, when we get to the home, all right? So I just wanna say that, uh, you know, with these doors, there's a lot of different parts and pieces that get go into them. So if you're kind of thinking you're gonna get a price for a door system and you're just gonna go to the catalog or go to your local, uh, you know, big box store to find a price, there's a whole lot of other things to think about. Uh, the other factor on door systems is the, the hardware. So the hardware, again, is another facet of the door system. When you want to make an upgrade, what type of hardware you want to put on that? Is it just a single knob and a deadbolt, or do you want to upgrade that to a really nice uh, handle system or lever handle system? And now you can actually get some electronic uh, Schlage actually is one of those products out there that make uh, a, a simple electronic uh, deadbolt uh, for keypad. So we've done those uh, in a few instances as well. Um, for costs, uh, as I mentioned before, these really do have a huge range. So uh, they range from literally $2,000 to $8,000, all depending on the size of that door system. Uh, another factor to think about is the, when we come to install, you know, is it a the exterior of the house? Is it a brick cladded house? Uh, and we have to fit that door from brick to brick, or does your house, you know, is your house 100 years old or is it 25 years old? There's a little bit of factor that goes into that. So, we, you know, we want to do a site inspections uh, to give that client the uh, comfort knowing what we're installing to their home. Okay. So really uh, in that range of cost, right, from that 2,000 to 8,000, those are, that's kind of a real thing. Uh, so I know I may be a little bit surprising to some folks, but uh, keep in mind there's a huge range. So other than that, I thought this week I wanted to keep this thing uh, to a, um, a shorter time frame. I know the last couple of weeks I've spent a little bit more time talking about uh, those pr uh, projects of the time. Again, uh, Hope this was helpful uh, with some of those initial questions you have. Please keep in mind, every house is a one-off. Your house is your house. It's different than your neighbor's house and everyone else's house. So a lot of factors go into those pricing. Uh, so please be patient when you're trying to find those costs and talk to professionals about that. Um, as always, uh, if you want to contact us with any of your questions, please feel free to email me at win at wedavies.com. And in the info line, if you just want to put down Wednesdays with wind, that'd be great. In closing, be safe, be kind, be grateful. Thank you again for listening.